in power system, uh, sometimes it is very much necessary to determine uh, the voltage currents and the KVA ratings all into a very convenient way of representation that is called the per unit representation in which the things which are actually uh, on their base value are dimensionless and they are easily computable by manual methods also. So we will be discussing about the per unit representation under some classes which are under uh, power system. So starting with the per unit representation how they are expressed. It is expressed as the ratio of the actual value to the base value. <coughs> so the per unit quantity is definitely equals to the actual value divided by arbitrary base chosen of the same dimension. So, if I say that the suppose I is the current which is supposed to be um, the actual value which we have measured and IB is the base value of arbitrary base which we have chosen the same so in the base of uh, so in the dimension of current here actual current will be amperes here base current will also be amperes so if I write like this that I per unit in that case would be I actual value divided by I base value. So one can easily detect this thing that since actual and base values dimensions are same, so I per unit quantity is always the per unit quantities are dimensionless. So, per unit quantities are always dimensionless. In the same way, I can have a V per unit also. If the V actual is the actual voltage and V base, if we have chosen, so V per unit would be like this. In the same way, we can have the KV rating also. So, KV rating are non normally done on S, such as S. So I can have S actual value divided by S base value. So all these things, the current, the voltage, the kilovolt amperes, KV ratings, all are dimensionless when they are in the per unit values. <clears throat> so coming to another part when the power <clears throat> how to determine the power in that case? We can have power as S is equal to, we are also de uh, determining power by S. S is equal to P plus J Q, where normally everybody knows that S is the uh, apparent power, P is the active power, and Q is the reactive power. So, how the P per unit can be defined? The P per unit can be defined as P, which is the actual value, which is in S watt upon the SB, exactly in the same grip, 
q coordinate can also be defined as q divided by sb this is the coordinate value of p and q <coughs> also since everything which we are talking about right now is in the coordinate so we can also define the z which is the impedance so if i am having z base so that will be what obvious equivalent to v base upon i base value so which we have chosen the voltage base value the current base value that will be equivalent to the z base so we can have one more formula s b will be equals to v b into i b all these formula we have already studied in our elementary classes but just to refresh that just to brush up that we are discussing them again so we can have this thing also we can have a derivation of the formula also since from here i can have ib is equals to sb upon vb so i can have zb as here i can re replace this by sb upon vb so sb will be coming over here and vb square will be over here so zb would be equal to vb square upon sb square so this is the way in which we are defining the perinate values and the phase values so we can define z perinate in a different way now that is equal to the same thing which we have discussed previously the actual value upon the base value so the z ohm suppose is the actual value so i can have the zb zb which we have discussed was sb upon uh, sorry vb square upon zb so it is it will be plus to vb square into sb so this way i can take out the base per unit value of our impedance by putting this formula as zb into sb upon vb square so uh, one more thing will come for the impedance which we have discussed over here one by uh, the impedance is equals to the yb so i can have the y l by b formula also from this i can have different n number of formulas from this so i must remember all this formula so the changing change changing of base from one base to another base is a type of question which are being asked in examination so these were the formula which we have discussed till now for the basic formula which uh, which will be actually helping in deriving the uh, the different type of formulas normally uh, the z base problems are coming and the current base problems are coming in the per unit questions so we can have the uh, look on the z base per unit formula in the change of base as well as in the current also sometimes what happened that a transformer or a generator or a line or anything a transmission equipment is in its own per unit values but when it is connected to a whole system or when it when the any of the system which we have discussed till now are connected on a power system so uh, previously as we are known that the its units are on the per unit units but they are on their own basis and now since it may be possible that the base of the same has been changed so how to 
change the place. That is one of the very important things which we should understand.